The SQL insert statement allows you to add records to a table in a relational database. The syntax of the insert statement is shown here. It begins with the keywords insert into, followed by a table name, then a list of column names in parentheses. The column names are separated by commas. The values clause comes next, followed by a comma separated list of values in parentheses. In this example, the insert statement adds a new record to the table of computer scientists. Notice that the text and date values are written with single quotes in the values clause, but numeric values are not. It's important to make sure that the data types of the values correspond to the data types of the column list. It's possible to set up an SQL table with an auto-increment column. This allows a unique number to be generated automatically for a column when a new record is inserted into a table. This is typically done for the table's primary key column. This insert statement only provides values for some of the available columns, but the ID is taken care of by the auto-increment feature of this column. In this example, we have a second table called More People. Instead of a values clause, this insert statement incorporates a select statement to copy some of the columns of the records from one table to another. As before, the auto-increment property of the ID column is taking care of the IDs.